You're watching Nihas International. Good afternoon to all of you. For the news section today on this Wednesday the 1st of June, uh, we have details about activities for World Environment Day, associations and volunteers working to control feral cats, and cultural news for the interview section. And uh, for the interview section we have uh, Susie Kedge, who's going to tell us all about a special exhibition which is entitled Promoting Andalusia. And uh, the inauguration is on the 10th of June and altogether there's going to be about uh, 10 artists and there's going to be sculpture, paintings, music, photography, all sorts of things. And um, so we look forward to that. And the two artists that are here with us is Susie Kedge and also Scott Dudu. Good afternoon, both of you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Lovely to see you both. And you. And uh, you're both, I presume, busy um, preparing for the exhibition and choosing yeah. works that you're going to be having in this. Yes, definitely. Uh, and it's going to be at the uh, Commercial Centre in Los Olivos. Um, but I'm sure that the people would love to know a little bit about you as artists yourselves. So I think we're going to start with you first, Susie. Okay. Um, and perhaps to talk about the type of work you're going to have in this exhibition and what medium you use. Okay, I, I have quite a wide range of um, work in the exhibition, from landscapes, I have a musician, I've painted, uh, they are all acrylics, they're all on canvas, gallery wrapped canvases, um, and yes, there's flowers and it's, it's more of an organic nature. Okay, and you know, looking at, I mean, for, for instance, you've done... Um, uh, you said uh, the gentleman with the guitar. Yes. Um, these types of sort of like fabric on canvas, um, how, how long do they take you to do from beginning to end? Um, probably a good few days, really, from start to finish. Mm. Um, and inspiration from what's around you? Well, with the uh, musician, I actually went for a day out to Malaga and I saw him on the steps of a church and I did ask him if he would mind if I took some photographs and mm. painted him and he said, no, he didn't mind. So I took photographs and then I painted him back at home in my studio. Oh, and this is the image that we're seeing here on the screen. Yeah. Yes, but, yeah. So, so you took, took that back home and then did it all yes, from, yeah. from your own workshop. Um, I work a lot with my motion and try and put my motion into each painting. And capture and the moment. Yes, yeah. yeah. And he was so happy as well. <laughs> Did you take it back to him? <laughs> no, but I keep thinking I must take him a print to say yeah. thank you. No, that would be a nice gesture, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah. And um, as you say, I mean, um, there's other pieces that you, you've done as well. For instance, yes. the four that are going to be in the exhibition? Yes, I have um, a couple of landscapes of Andalusia. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're, they're a combination of different pictures that I've taken and different views that I've seen. Like the same here, yeah. yeah, and I've combined them. Whereabouts um, is this then? Well, this is, as I say, um, a combination of views of Andalusia, just to give the feel of and the emotion. Okay, of so the it's area. a general one. Yes, it's not yeah, it's place. not specifically of a, a yeah. specific area, but it's a, it's a mix and just. And Typical the geraniums, <laughs> which are everywhere and so beautiful at yeah, the moment. They are bursting with colour, aren't they? Yes, yeah. yeah they are. Okay. And um, do you, you said you worked in different uh, ways, different mediums? I, I do. I work in watercolour, I do illustrations. Mm -hmm. um, I've been doing some food illustrations recently, um, and, but mainly acrylic on canvas for exhibitions and uh -huh. galleries. Okay, lovely. And um, obviously you've been, you've studied art, you've always yes. had an interest in art, yes. I've been looking at your, your website. Um, perhaps to tell us a little bit about um, how you started, why you wanted to do this type of creative work. I just always loved drawing and painting from a little girl right the way through and I stopped really after school, I didn't do a lot after school and then I went back and took my A-levels mm -hmm. and then went on to college to study and then I went to Canterbury um, Christchurch University College for a while um, to study there uh, and I had my children so I had a bit of a break and we've just recently moved to Andalusia and uh, for more inspiration for more inspiration <laughs> and to restart my art career oh lovely and um, well all the best with that and Thank you. Um, you have exhibited in other areas haven't you yes I have I've distrib um, I've exhibited in Canterbury and Folkestone and I have had an exhibition in La Cala mm -hmm. a few years ago in a restaurant um, and 
various places really, mm. various different restaurants and... Okay, well thank you, thank you Susie. And uh, now Scott, you're, you're not only a sculptor but you're a musician as well. Yeah. Yeah, um, and I believe um, it's DJ work, isn't it? Well actually it's DJ work, it's uh, MC work as well, yeah. Right, okay, and, and what type, I, I believe you said reggae, was that one of them? Actually, I, I used to play um, hip-hop music before, so, ah. you know, when you grow old and um, you grow, you know, you change. From you change one, your you taste. You change the stone taste, yeah. Yeah. So, I have to, you know, go into reggae because I feel reggae music is reality and uh, mm -hmm. it's something, you know, delivering a message to the world, you know, like giving a message out there to the people. Yeah. So, I think reggae is something I really love right from, you know, child youth, you know, and uh, I think uh, reggae music is something 80% of the world today like because uh, mm. it says the message for a lot of people out there who would like to say something, but I think reggae is the only song that can express what is happening to their own heads, you know. Yeah, with the wonderful with rhythm. With the wonderful rhythm and yeah. uh, Larry's. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, now, you are bringing um, a few sculpture pieces to the exhibition. Yeah. Um, perhaps to tell us a little bit uh, about them and why you chose to do sculptures. Actually, um, uh, you know, when uh, my friend uh, Jason told me about the exhibition and told me about what is up to like, uh, it's got to do with Andalusia and something mm -hmm. like that, so I chose to do the Oaks and uh, the Flamenco dancers, you know, because I think those are Spanish tradition mm -hmm. because you're yeah, in Spain and I also did one which is um, the bull, the bull head, uh -huh. which I know is typical of um, uh, Spanish tradition and I feel um, these jobs will be really nice to present in such exhibition. Okay, yeah. um, and as, yes I mean this is here on the screen yeah. now, the bull's head, fantastic isn't it? Yeah it does. Yeah, yeah. And um, what materials did you use for that? Actually um, I get these materials from the junks I just go to the junks yard and ah, um, right. yeah, I go to the junks yard. Recycling. Recycling. And uh, to me, as an artist, I think there's nothing waste in the mechanic shop. They're all useful, you know, and um, you just really got to, you know, put your mind in it because as soon as you get the passes mm -hmm. from the junks, doing the art is not a problem. You got the imagination, inspiration comes directly mm -hmm. and uh, put them together and that's it. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I mean, I saw that, well, just on the screen there was the flamenco dancer, wasn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. a flamenco dancer, yeah. And that was quite atmospheric, really. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Um, and what else have you, well, there we go, we're seeing it now. Yeah, wonderful. It uh, is. How long did it take you to do that? Actually, this took me to do, um, let's say, um, three, four days. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. Four days, I think so. Uh -huh. Yeah. And what, what other types of uh, sculptures have you done? Actually, I've done lots of sculpture pieces, not only the oaks and other. I've done uh, the guitarist as well, mm -hmm. yeah, which is not here at the moment. I've done um, crocodile, a full-size crocodile and a full-size um, hogs as well, mm -hmm. which uh, has been sold for a long time. And uh, in a way, I can't actually remember the job that I've done because I've done lots of ads that I can't sometimes remember mm -hmm. most of them. And uh, there's this um, uh, fonda as well in uh, Ciudad de los Niños in Malaga, mm -hmm. uh, Emmanuel Carlos, which I did his box as well, box of his job, yeah. right, his face. And um, it was taken to a school at um, uh, Granada, St. Ines, uh, one in Malaga, and Wave as well. So I think I've done quite a few. You have, yeah, yeah a lot of varied uh, yeah. pieces there. Yeah. Mm. Are you working on something now? Actually, at the moment, I'm working on something, yeah? Are you I'm able working. to tell us? Oh, well, uh, at the moment, I'm working on two things. I'm trying to, you know, finish my album, mm -hmm. you know. Well, I'd say it's almost finished at the moment, my music album, which is called uh, Beyond the Blue. And uh, I'm still working on other sculpture pieces, mm -hmm. you know, like um, the buffalo. I'm working on the buffalo head now. Okay. And uh, I just hope to run it up. And uh, I love working on horses because I think uh, um, those kind of people who actually love horses, you know. Mm -hmm. So I feel when I see horses, I just feel like, you know, bringing it out in any way I can, mm -hmm. you know, by sculpture, by painting, you know, by graphics and anything. 
you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lovely. Now, at this uh, inauguration, which is on the 10th of June, yeah. um, there's going to be, as I said, about 10 artists altogether. Uh, and I believe it's um, sculpture, fashion, photography and music. And there's going to be the Dance with Freedom. Eloise is going to be there to give a performance as well. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. And um, also, apparently, there's going to be uh, tapas from the uh, different areas of Andalusia. Yeah. So you get a good blend of that. Yeah, yeah. 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 That would be, mm. be really nice, you know. Yeah, it would be a nice evening. With the Spanish it? tapas, you know. Yeah. You know, Spanish tapas in the wine is something I really like here in Spain. Well, do you know, um, I read in uh, one of the news pieces today yeah. um, that Spain is proposing that tapas um, be classified as world heritage because when you ask for one, yeah. it's universally known. Everybody knows what tapas means. Yes, yeah. um, and it's true, it's a friendly way of, uh, you know, meeting with people and, yeah. you know, yeah. and enjoying sociable. food. Yeah, very sociable. It's very sociable and uh, I think it's really nice because uh, sometimes when you go out with any Spanish friend, like when I first came here, you know, when I first came here and... Uh, long saw, time ago, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was yeah. a long time ago, it was about 15, 16 years ago. Yeah. So I find it really strange, like, you know, communicating with other people, like, because uh, I'm not Spanish and uh, yeah. when I left my country, I don't even know what all that means, you know. So with time, as time goes on, I start getting used because I always go out with my friends to have a tapa, <laughs> you know, when they just call me and say, Scott, come on, let's go have a tapa today, you know. So I go out with them. That's how I started getting used to the language and uh, getting used to the Spanish culture, mm -hmm. which I find really interesting today. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lovely. Well, thank you very much, both of you. Thank All the best you. with the exhibitions and with future exhibitions as well. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. And I believe um, people can uh, visit the exhibition for the whole of the summer, can't they? Yes, yeah, yeah, until sure. the end of August. It's a hello definitely. to the summer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. Okay, well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, that's all for the interview section today and for Mihas International Programme. Back with you at the same time tomorrow with all the latest local news, national headlines and the interview section. Hasta mañana. <laughs>